Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Unreal Engine motion to Icon 7.9 to perform any of the 3D animation to make it become iMotion or RL motion so that you can apply in any avatar in your Icon 7 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do all this. First, you just look look at your Unreal Engine. As demo, I'll just use the Mana Queen and its motion as demo. So now, I will just go to the Mana Queen folder. If you look at the character, the character, the mesh, you can see this is the skeleton mesh, the skeleton mesh of the Mana Queen. Alright, so. The first step, what you need to do is just export the skeleton mesh. Export the skeleton mesh from Unreal Engine. So I right click here, asset action, export. I export it. As demo, I will just export on my desktop. The, the file name is SK Manoquin. I save. Export it as FBX file. I click export. Now you can see this is the SK Mana Queen. And next, we are going to send the SK Mana Queen FBX file to Mizamo. So I will open my Google Chrome. Mizamo.com. In your Mizamo, you must log in. Log in by using your Gmail account. Continue with Google. And next, you are going to upload the Mana Queen avatar. You click Upload Character. Drag the SK Mana Queen avatar into here. Now it is uploading. And now it is processing your character. Now you can see after it finished process, it will automatic automatic map the bones inside the Mizamo. You click next and next again. Now you need to wait for a while. And at this stage, what you are going to do is click download. Make sure you select the tipos, download it as FBX and click download. Now, it is downloading as SK Mana Queen FBX as well. Here we have to rename it. You click here, show in folder. It is inside your download folder. So this SK Mana Queen, you add a T post at behind. Name it properly. Put it on the desktop. Now, in your 3D Exchange 7, here, just drag in, then click import the animation as well. Alright, for this time it asks for auto conversions, you click yes. For the first time you can see it is already in people's, then it is fine. You can see one is the T pose, another one is not the T pose. If you scroll down, click convert to non standard, it map the bones automatic in T pose for everything, then that is okay. Next, next we are going to export the animation from Unreal Engine. This is just the mesh, you back to the Mana Queen, you have the, the animation at here. So all of this, you can export it out as FBX file. For example, I want I want the third person walk. So I right click it, asset actions, I export it out. And I export it as third person walk. The file name is third person walk. It is on my desktop, I save.
save on my desktop, I click export it. Now in your in your desktop you can see the third person work FBX file is it here. So now you need to scroll here to find the motion library. You drag the third person work into the motion library. Click OK. This is the one. And the rest you can just delete all and you only click the third person walk and add to perform. Now your third person walk is at here. You export it. Remember you only take the export motion, uh, export the animations. You can untick the export geometry. Export it as the motion file, the iCloud motion file, the RL motions. As demo, I will just choose desktop and export it on my desktop. Click OK. Wait. Then I click OK. This is the RL motion already, the top person work RL motion. I'm going to test it in my iClone. I go to the character. I use a new avatar. For example, I use Christian. I try to apply apply on Christian. Let's have a look. I drag in. Now, you can see everything worked perfectly. This is a walking motion. So now I already successfully exported export the motion from Unreal Engine to iClone 7 so that you can use this you can use the motion file in any other avatars in icon 7. Alright, that's all for today about how to import the Unreal Engine motion into icon 7.9 to use for any other avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial and sharing, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!